What is the first step to treatment of a disease? It's always the identification or what we call diagnosis. Well, diagnosis of any disease or condition in your body is done through biomarkers. A biomarker is nothing but a physiological molecule or any other metabolite in your body that goes up and down and suggests a normal or an abnormal process in your body. Therefore, biomarkers serve as an important indicators to a good or bad process in your body or to a disease physiology or a healthy condition. Over the decades, we have been using a lot of diagnostic biomarkers. And one of the most common ones are the ones we get regularly, like the blood panel test. This blood panel test can tell us a lot about the body conditions like inflammation or immunity. Well, there are certain biomarkers that directly leads to a diagnostic decision called diagnostic biomarkers. For example, glucose levels for diabetes, alpha synuclein for Parkinson's disease, or even methane gas production in case of colorectal cancer. Such type of biomarkers actually help a doctor say that, okay, you have an existing disease and based on that, they start a protocol. And it's not just identification. The levels of these biomarkers also tells us a lot about how to treat, how to treat the patient and what dosage to give to them. Now, diagnostic biomarkers are just one of them. They could be of various types. The first one is the clinical biomarker. This is actually what suggests a disease is, right? With every treatment, if that biomarker is going up or down, it has a clinical implication on the study on the patient and on the overall understanding of the disease. That's what a clinical biomarker is. Well, there's something called imaging biomarker as well. For diseases that are recognized by X-rays, MRIs or CT scans, where there's actually an image of the internal part of your body, which is then compared with a healthy reference to tell if that particular physiology is aberrant or not. That's an imaging biomarker. There are other such like empirical biomarkers, for example, glucose level going up and down in a type 2 diabetes patient, that's an empirical biomarker. The new trend although, is to focus on the digital biomarkers. Digital biomarkers are nothing but the heart rate that the Apple device can take from your uh, watch or the other oximeters that we have used during the COVID-19 times. These are actually digital biomarkers and they it's it's taken through a digital device and it tells a lot about how your body is functioning and how it might function going ahead in the future. The predictive biomarkers are majorly focused on the digital advancement and these biomarkers. Prediction is very important because early understanding of a disease or catching the disease before its actual onset could be very helpful in pushing the preventive solutions into the latest market. It could help prevention become a mainstream therapy technique rather than depending on just managing or curing a disease. Such predictive biomarkers are the focus of the future. However, the biggest challenge for the biomarker industry or the biomarker science is the discovery of biomarkers. It's not easy to find what disease is correlated with which biomarker, how to identify new biomarkers for the diseases. That's a big challenge. The other challenge is the invasiveness of the techniques that are used to collect the biomarkers. Usually for an intestinal disease, there's a colonoscopy, which could be very painful for the patient or endoscopy in terms of uh, other patients that are going through respiratory uh, disorders. These painful collection of biomarkers is actually a limited, limiting step in the therapy. It is time we move on to non-invasive techniques. Non-invasive could be anything like collection of stool, or saliva or a strand of hair. But how can we discover biomarkers? One of the latest approaches used in biomarker discovery is actually the omics technologies. Your omics technologies are like genomics, metagenomics, transcriptomics, metabolomics or even proteomics. What this data or the big data that's coming out of your body tells us a lot about different diseases and the different signatures that are present for a particular disease. For example, if we collect a lot of omics data from a particular population, and if we see a particular signature repeating throughout these patients, it becomes a biomarker. This is how biomarkers are discovered based on omics technology. It is a great boon as going ahead in the future, omics technologies is going to give us a panel of biomarkers and also a digital biomarker, which can help predict health status, something we will call health avatars in the future.